Today I'm going to show you how to make vegan chocolate chip cookies. Isn't that right, Conrad? These cookies are moist, they're gooey, they are delicious. Make sure to set your oven to 350 degrees before you start mixing stuff up. First you're going to need a large mixing bowl. I don't like to do dishes so I just like to mix things up in one large bowl. And then you're going to need canola oil, non-dairy milk. I like to use coconut milk but you can use whatever non-dairy milk you like. Brown sugar, cane sugar, I buy mine by the pound at Sunflower Market. Flaxseed meal. Flaxseed is kind of used as a binder to replace eggs, and it's really healthy for you. And lastly, for the wet ingredients, vanilla extract, and my favorite, almond extract. For the dry ingredients, whole wheat flour. You could use all-purpose flour, but I like to use whole wheat because it's a healthier choice. Baking soda and salt. And of course, the best part of this recipe, non-dairy chocolate chips. Just make sure to check the ingredients list and make sure it doesn't say contains traces of milk or eggs because that is a bad thing. We don't want that. Your safest bet is to make sure you're buying a product that isn't manufactured on a line with dairy or eggs. So just check that ingredient list. And now, how to make vegan chocolate chip cookies. So you're going to take a third of a cup of canola oil, pour it right in the bowl, and then you're going to take a fourth of a cup of brown sugar and a fourth of a cup of cane sugar, and pour it right in there with the canola oil. And then you're going to take two tablespoons of your non-dairy milk and pour it in there and then you're going to combine those together until you get a smooth consistency, no, no lumps of sugar. Just mix it up. And you're going to add two teaspoons of flax meal. a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a teaspoon of your almond extract. And just combine those until it's a really smooth consistency. We're going for no lump. And then an important key to evenly distributing all of your dry ingredients is to sift. Make sure to sift all your dry ingredients. So you're going to take a cup of your whole wheat flour, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and a fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda. And just put it in the sifter and sift away. I just kind of do it all at once. You can do it, do it um, a little bit at a time and mix it, but I just, I just do it all at once. And at this point, you're going to want to switch from using a whisk to a fork. Alright, I forgot to grab a fork, so I'll be right back. And then you just mix it up. So it is a cookie dough consistency. It starts getting pretty thick, um, and you're going to scrape the edges, get all the flour, baking soda in there. And then once you have it pretty well mixed, you don't want to over mix it. Once you just have it all incorporated, then you're going to want to add a cup of your non-dairy chocolate chips. Here we go. 
kind of fold these in. Kind of got them everywhere. And just fold. These are going to be super chocolatey. I think that was more than a cup. Oh well. Just mix it up. This is my favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe. It is so good. I can't wait till it's done. Alright. And this is the consistency you're looking for. Cookie dough. So before you bake the cookies, you're going to want to line a cookie sheet with parchment paper. And you're going to put about a tablespoon, a heaping tablespoon of cookie dough, um, about two inches apart. So you're going to bake about six cookies at a time. Um, this batch makes about 12 cookies. So a dozen cookies. So, once your oven is preheated, you're going to just pop your cookies in. Preheated. And set the timer to 12 minutes and wait for your cookies to cook. Cookies! Oh my god, the cookies are baking, they're baking cookies, cookies are baking. And while you wait, you can listen to the screaming females. And spin in circles. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy. Oh boy. They're looking good. Oh boy, the cookies are done. So you're just going to take your cookies out, and I suggest letting them sit on the tray for about five minutes. Alright, so once your cookies have rested for about five minutes on the cooking tray, you're going to want to transfer them to a wire cooling rack. Boy, these look good. And just let them cool for about five minutes and then enjoy. Mmm, so good. So good.